everybody. Welcome to another Tuesday video where I do whatever I want. And today, I want to make candles and drinking glasses out of old beer bottles. I did this thing back in 2012, I think, on someone's vlog. I have no idea where it lays, but I want to do it again. Last time I just made them into drinking glasses, this time I want to make them into candles. So that's what I'm going to do. Also, it's good to recycle. This is how you recycle beer glass. Also, you can use the caps and put magnets on them and they become magnets. I spend too much time on Pinterest. These are my favorite kind of do it with is like this sticker is like glued, it's not glued, it's like molded onto the, the glass. This sticker is not. Obviously that looks lame. By the way, this is dangerous and I am not suggesting any of you do this. Therefore, I am not liable if you break glass and cut yourself. Ready to begin? Ready, begin! Safety first. Oh wait, no, I don't want to do these first. Not safety first. So what we're gonna do, if I can remember this correctly, which I think I can, get some thick yarn, and then you're gonna wrap it around the bottle three times. Oh dear God, I've dropped the yarn. I feel like a cat. What am I doing? Okay, so you wrap yarn around a bottle three times. One, two, I'll thread. And then you cut it. Okay, so you put the yarn where you want your bottle to be cut. I'm cutting, did I not explain what I'm doing? I'm cutting bottles in half so that I can make them into drinking glasses or candles. Was that explained ever? Oh goodness, I need more of this coffee. I think I want it to be a little tiny candle. It's just a little tiny candle, guys. Just a little tiny candle. I'm a candle. Yeah, I want it there. So you tie it. Now you take it off, now that you've tied it on securely. You put it into a bowl, and then you put nail polish remover in that bowl. This seems so strange and wrong, but it's right. And now you put on your gloves so that you don't die. Not dying is a very crucial part of this entire thing. Because if you die, what's the point of having a candle? I guess to put on your grave. Do people put candles on graves? Do they just put flowers on graves? Now yeah, this turned morbid. Okay. All right. Now you've socked up all of ugh, stuff. Now you put it back on. Oh God, it's so tight. Okay. Oh. Where this yarn is, is where the bottle is going to be cut. I'm cutting off these extra little flufflers. You gotta wipe off the nail polish remover that leaked onto the bottle because that's what catches on fire. Now this experiment requires fire. Have I ever used fire with you guys before besides those candles I made back in the day? This is gonna be fun. I've already filled my sink with cold water because that's what you're supposed to do is fill your sink with cold water. Now I'm putting on new rubber gloves so these don't catch on fire because there's not nail polish remover on these. Are we ready for this? Like I'm just doing it. So you just light this on fire and twirl it around and then you dunk it in the cold water. That's basically what you do. You hold it at the other end so you don't die. Okay. You wait for the flame to go out. Takes about 30 seconds apparently. God, I'm really scared right now. This is taking forever. God, I'm very, very nervous. I feel like this is taking longer than 30 seconds. We all feel this way. It's out. Oh, it did it. Did you see that? Did you see it? Okay, I have a sharp, it's kind of sharp right here. That's okay, because we're gonna use sandpaper. I can't believe I did that correctly. Oh, I'm quite proud of myself. Oh, that's gonna be a fantastic little candle if you ask me. Wow. I did that. Man, it takes me back to the good old days. I was gonna do a flashback just now of when I did it the first time, but I don't wanna go looking for that video. So if you all want a flashback of the first time I did this, go find it on someone's channel. I think it might've been like a Vlogmas on Colleen's channel in 2012. Or was it on my channel? Or Whitling's channel? I have no idea where I've done this before. Oh, also sometimes people do things with this, but I don't have anything to do with this. See, this wasn't supposed to happen. This chunk wasn't supposed to come off, but it's okay that it did. We're just gonna throw it away. All right, now I'm gonna do the big bottle. I'm gonna turn off the camera while I do it though, because you guys don't need to watch me rewrap that. I'm back. So I put the string around the bottle. I want this one to be a tall glass, so I put it at the very tippity top. Not just the top, the tippity top. Ready to light this baby on fire? I'm not. It always is scary. Fire is a scary, scary, scary thing. Why am I singing circus songs? That doesn't make any sense. I get really bored when I'm waiting for stuff like this. Come on, ma. Seriously though, I'm not suggesting anyone do this and if you do, please have an adult present because this is very dangerous and I am not even qualified to do this. I don't know how you become qualified in this. So I'm gonna 
dry these off, and then we're gonna sandpaper them, okay? Are you ready for that? Okay, and then we're gonna, this one's just gonna be a drinking glass. Like, once this is sanded, this is done. I'm oh, applauding myself. So you just dry everything off, and then you dry it, and then you dry it, and you dry it some more, and then you keep drying it, and then you get some sandpaper, and you do this. Oh, that's not a pleasant sound. Oh, I'm gonna turn that off so you guys don't have to hear this, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna work with the camera off. But you get the gist, right? You don't need to watch me sand that. You just kind of get it, right? Okay. So, I've sanded these down. This one's done. I've washed it, I've sanded it. It's now a glass. Isn't that pretty? I, I made a glass out of glass. This could be a toothbrush holder. It could be a drinking glass. It can be something you cuddle. It can be so many things. The possibilities are endless. That's false, there's an end, and we've just found it. But this one, I wanna make a candle out of. So I've done this before. Okay, remember how last time in a video when I made candles, they wouldn't stay lit? No dying. It's like completely dying. <laughs> it's such a tiny little flame now. Why is it doing that? Excuse me, how do you not work as a candle? You've got a wick and wax. What could possibly go wrong in this scenario? I found out it's because I used too much fragrance. So we're just gonna melt some wax, stick it in there, put a little fragrance in it. Just like two drops. Last time I was putting like eight drops in. Just like two little drops and we'll be done. I'm gonna melt some wax. We're just gonna make a little candle. And that's the end. So I'm gonna melt this ish and make a candle. Ready? Begin. Okay, so I've put a wick in, I filled it with wax, and I'm keeping the wick straight with this contraption that I've made. But once this dries, we're gonna light it and see if it works. There you have it though. Created beer glass, glass bottle, beer bottle, beer bottle candles! Beer bottle candles. Finally, I figured out the title of this video. It took me long enough. All right, once this dries, we'll come back and we'll light it. Cool? Cool. Welcome back. I've made my candle. Isn't this cool? I made a candle out of a beer glass. Let's see if it lights, shall we? <gasps> oh. This video is basically just me being like, hi, I wanna play with fire today. So that's what I did. Get lit, boy. Get lit. Well, it hasn't gone out like the last time I made candles. I think, I think I have made a successful candle, ladies and gentlemen. It just took a little beer for me to do something right. Gosh darn it, I'm amazing. It's still going. Still going. It hasn't stopped. Success! I've broken the curse of the raindrop cake. I have made something successfully. Oh, I am so proud of myself. I've broken the curse. You can't control this. I've made a candle out of a glass bottle. All right, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this or learned something. Seriously though, this is dangerous, so if you do do it, make sure you have an adult present. Subscribe if you wanna see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Remember to give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Boop. My dad does thumbs up like this. He like, it's like the presidential thumbs up. Anyway, but remember guys, above all else, stay awesome possums.